All right, so now we get to talk about something a little bit more fun. So on your desktop, obviously Windows is known for the fact that it is customizable. So you can change the wallpaper. So to do that, all you really need to do is right click on your desktop and then go to personalize. It will automatically take you into the correct spot of the settings uh, application. If you wanna get there manually, you can just go to personalization. Uh, background is the first tab that you'll be on by default. Now you can choose a number of pictures that Windows has for you, or you can click on Browse and you can use any picture that you would like to use. Now you have different fill options. If your wallpaper is not the exact same uh, aspect ratio as your display, it's going to have to do something about that. So it will either need to fill it, which means basically it's going to zoom in until it fits the screen properly. It can do fit, stretch, which is gonna stretch the image so that it fits properly. Tile, so it will do multiple instances of the same wallpaper um, to, make, to fill the entire space. You can do it uh, centered, so it'll obviously just center the wallpaper. And then obviously you have span as well. So a few different options. Uh, depending on the size of your wallpaper, none of them may look all that different from each other. Um, besides that, you also have some other customization options. You have color. So what color does is it shows a specific color for things like your live tiles. So here, these all these tiles that don't have a specific color that's been given to them by the maker, they're going to basically just choose a default color. So you can choose that color on your own. Let's go ahead and choose something a little bit more out there just to see what that looks like. All right. Now, as you can see, the other thing that's going on here is it's theming the taskbar and it's also theming the action center. At the same time, it's also putting a nice little glow or outline around the edge of any application or whichever one is currently active. So that is something that you can turn off if you'd rather have this just be black all the time, you can do that. You can also make the taskbar and the action center, excuse me, transparent. And when you turn that on, the, the, the taskbar here is gonna take on the color, or somewhat take on the color of the desktop that's behind it. In addition to that, when you open it up, there is a nice little blur effect so that you can kind of see what's behind it, but not so much that it's distracting. So that's another nice effect. Now you can also change the start menu around a little bit so that it looks a little bit differently. Uh, so right now we have this set up so that it's four medium tiles wide. So this is two and this is another two here. We can change that so instead it's three tiles wide. That kind of messed up my configuration there, but that is an option that you do have there. Now you can also customize this so that you can show certain um, sections within the start menu. So you can turn off most used apps and recently added apps. So now all that space is blank there. And you could also use the start full screen. So we have that option there too. Now in addition to that, you can also resize the start menu so that it is a entirely different size. You can make it wider and then you can also make it taller or shorter. That's all entirely up to you how you want to configure that. Now we also have a theme section, really this just takes you to the control panel. So you can control the color that shows around this border here. And then you can also do things with the desktop background here as well, or you can apply some kind of default Windows themes.